Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Ebert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Von Dior. This is the model number 300WB. It's an AM FM weather alert pocket radio. I purchased this radio for a total of $19 off Amazon, and this is how it arrived. Got pretty simple packaging, simple picture of the product. Down here, FM, AM, weather band, looks like alarm clock, digital sound. Okay. On the back here, simple and durable design. Enjoy music and news everywhere. All right. Um, this is kind of neat. Up to 55 hours, standby alert mode. We'll talk about that. LCD screen, okay. Alarm clock again. Requires two AAA batteries. So let's open this up. See what we get inside. All right, the radio. So we get some kind of pamphlet, and the box is empty. All right, well, let's look at the pamphlet. Let's see what we got here. We want to say thank you for buying this product. All right, go visit their website uh, if you want to. <laughs> Enter email, get some 10% off some stuff. Okay, what's the else they got here? Oh, this is a manual. Manual instruction. Okay, so here's some basic stuff. I'll just kind of scroll through here now some of this pertains to a different model radio like the auto scan um, on this radio i could not get the auto scan to work because that same button is for the alert mode it actuates the alert instead of an auto scan so you'll find stuff that doesn't quite fit this radio and some that does here is the little bullet points of the radio and the features which we'll talk about a little bit of the display there and i think the rest is pretty basic let's see if they got any technical Anything technical going on here? Alarm clock setting, clock adjustment, for those who need to know. Auto power off. Oh, yeah, it has a sleep function, which is nice. And you got your weather alert mode. That's a pretty cool thing, and we'll talk about that. I love that. Oh, here we go. Technical stuff right there. Okay, so there's the band coverage. Uh, it's fixed at, at those frequencies. There's no 9K or 10K. This is meant for a U.S. market. There's your outputs, speaker size. Weight, 60 grams. Okay. There we are. All right. So let's get to the radio. So I'm going to use a little board here. So because it's a red radio. I love the red radio, by the way. It's cool. And we'll put this here so we can see the radio. It comes in a little sleeve. I always like to see that protecting the radio. There was a little protector over the LCD screen. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. There we go. So let's go over dimensions before we get into feature lists. So dimensions of this little guy is four inches tall. Two and three eighths of an inch across, and a case depth of five eighths of an inch. Right away, I like the round corners. I think that's nice. Let's do a little size comparison here. Um, you know, I had a uh, I don't know how you say that. Was it uh, Horloge, something like that? H one nine eight. I must have returned it because I could not find it. Um, it was like it's like the same radio, but just as AM FM, and it was all black. Had the exact same button set up and everything. But uh, yeah, just no weather band mode or weather alert mode. I wanted to show that to you guys, but I don't have it. So what I do have is my normal, uh, let's see, CC Pocket. There you go for size comparison. The Bondior is definitely a thinner radio, as you can see there. Nice. Times, correct. That's good. Love having the built-in clock there. I think that's really neat. We have CC Skywave as a frequency checker, though we don't need it with a digital radio. We shouldn't anyway. Gives you an idea again. And of course, we have the ever popular deck of cards. I always bring out, everybody looks forward to seeing this deck of cards. Okay. And that gives you an idea. It looks like it almost fit in there. It's a little taller, but definitely not as wide, about the same thickness, or just a little slightly thinner than a deck of cards. All right. So let's talk about the features of the Vondor 300WB. I think I got that right. Um, so, left hand side of the radio, we have an up and down volume control plus minus um, you play with these quite a bit depending on what band you're on of course the VHF band tends to be uh, needing more volume that's the weather band uh, FM that's you know FM is pretty good and AM it does all right but uh, we'll get to that as we tune the radio and you'll get to see that for the radio we have a nice display uh, this will have all our information right now it's showing our clock um, it'll show 
So of course the frequency when we turn the radio on and of course uh, information when you're setting the alarms and, and items like that. Below it we have some buttons. We have a lock button. Press that and it locks the radio out. You can see the flashing light lock icon there. And it's got this nice amber side light. I do like that. I don't like the blue ones or the white ones. Give me the amber light all day. This looks fantastic. Uh, and then you got stereo function. So when you're on FM, I noticed the difference, uh, the stereo mono mode, uh, when you're on headphones and it's real hissy or, or it's a faint station, you click this and then uh, you know turn off the stereo mode and you definitely uh, get a better signal. Uh, so next to it, we have the mode alert button. So this is pretty much, uh, you press and hold this to turn the alert on on the radio. And also this is used for uh, setting uh, presets. Okay, it's gonna turn the radio on, let's just go ahead and turn that off. So yeah, use this to add memory presets and I'll show you how to do that. Here you got M plus and M minus, and this is to navigate the presets. Now with presets, you get 20 presets on FM and 20 presets on AM. So you get a total of 40 presets on this radio. I think it's a pretty good bargain for a $20 pocket size radio like this. Uh, okay, so go moving on. We got a band button. Now the band button, when you press this, when the power is off, I don't want to show you right now. I don't want to get into it and mess anything up, but it goes to the alarm feature. So you can turn uh, on the alarm and set it from this band button when the power is off on the radio. Here we got a speaker. Speaker is about one and a half inches, 440, was it millimeters? It said, Bond your AM, FM, weather band radio. Loving this weather band radio stuff. I love that they're including it now. I think it should be a cool, I know there's other people that agree with me, feature always included with an AM, FM radio like this. Over here we have some tuning buttons. Um, you can see forward and back. Um, it has a limited seek function, but it does work. There you go. Top of the radio, we got some more stuff. We got a power button and sleep function. So you could press this, hold it when you're turning the radio on. And then with our sleep function mode, you just keep tapping the power button to select the different minutes of sleep timer you want to add to the radio before it turns off. Now some interesting things here. We have a headphone jack. It's a stereo. It is a stereo radio and it works really good in this radio. Um, FM stereo, I got about third to half my stations found in that. And we'll talk about FM reception report in a little bit, but uh, low level hiss, not much in the hiss department, which is nice. Um, FM has some nice mids and AM is great for uh, voice uh, talk and sports. So you'll like this for uh, AM listening with headphones. I did, definitely. Um, next to it, we have a really cool feature too. I think the Horlog might have had that too, if I'm saying that name right. Um, this is a DC input of 3 volts. Now on a weather alert radio, that makes perfect sense. Um, you plug that in, you can take the batteries out and let it run off the DC power, put the alert mode on, and then it'll just sit there and wait for alerts forever. And that's amazing. Uh, I would love that. I would love to find some way to do that with this radio. You can take it with you, then you can plug it in when you're home, and then uh, you're definitely going to get your alerts without draining your battery out. Over here we have a carry strap. Now the interesting thing here is do not cut this off. <laughs> this is your antenna. If you look closely, there is three wires. You have the strap and then you have this third wire, which is your FM wire, which runs the length of the strap, which is about 14 inches, maybe 15, including the inch going into the radio. So that's how you get your reception. And it actually works very well. I was surprised. I'd rather have a telescopic antenna, but this is okay in a pinch. On the back of the radio, Information you can see where they mark the different things, which I just told you about. On the back, it says Von Dior 300 WB. There's our frequency list again, AM 520 1710, FM 87 to 108. And then we got our weather band information there, five channels, or sorry, excuse me, seven channels. And then uh, it runs on two AAA batteries and made in China. Who would have thought made in China? What? Looks like it's vented there a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and open the battery compartment door so you guys can see the batteries. Yeah, everybody likes to see those. I'm using some high capacity Amazon Basic rechargeables. They work really well in here. Surprise, these are, I think, what, 900 minimum? Or 800? 800 minimum. Okay. So you got positive on the top battery to the left, and the bottom battery, the positive is to the right. Okay. And let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. Get this back. See, this is always a chore putting these back together on camera. There we go. So we're going to talk about FM reception, and we'll turn this on, do a little audio check with it. And then we'll cruise the medium wave band, which isn't exciting, but it's there. Um, so FM reception report, which this is pretty surprising with this radio with a little tiny wire antenna. Um, I did notice when I hooked up the headphones that I might have gotten a little extra gain. And I think it's just because of the proximity to this wire and the proximity to your body. That's why the headphones work a little bit better with the uh, wire. But when I did this test, I just did wire only. I did not use the headphones. So FM reception report goes as this. Uh, most average radios, I'm going to show you my tier. So I do a five tier method. Um, lowest is fair, highest is excellent. So five stages. So you got fair, okay, good, 
very good and excellent. Most radios fall in between OK and good, which is about two and a half stars, right dead in the middle. That's most analog radios. Most digital DSP radios go a little higher around the good range, around 50, 60, maybe 65 stations found. This particular radio, which shocked me, found 73 stations. And I put it in the good to very good category, which is a three and a half star rating. Uh, that's amazing for a $20 radio. Boom. <laughs> if you like FM, get this radio. You'll love it. Uh, with the stereo with the headset, uh, this is just a great FM radio. Loving it. Um, that might have been the Horlog too. That was its strong suit, the FM. And this is definitely a great FM receiver also. Uh, and then, of course, selectivity was good. I gave it a good rating because there were some a few stations where you had a little bit of bleed over, which made the fainter stations harder to hear. But overall rating, about three and a quarter stars, and that's great. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Show you how that works. Press it on. We're in our weather band mode right now. I'm going to switch the band. We're going to go to FM. You can see it says the frequency. Now it's going to switch to a clock. Well, I wish it didn't do that, but it does that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just turn this up and about a minute or two. Yeah, there's a lot of steps of volume, which is good, though. Um, I was going to show you, I'm using the Seacreen FM Transmitter 2 on 92.9 MHz, transmitting from my, I got an MP3 player plugged in, and it's transmitting the YouTube royalty-free music to the radio through the airwaves. There you go. And so you get an idea how this sounds. It's a bit on the tinny side because it's a smaller speaker, but it's adequate. turn it down some more yeah so that's uh definitely a tinny sounding speaker uh but it's you notice in classical music it sounded much better uh great for a uh, talk and classic you'll hear that when we're playing it um that's where this is suited for it's not suited for heavy heavy bass or heavy rock unless you're on headphones then it sounds really good okay so let's go ahead and turn this stuff off and we'll talk about the weather alert mode here and go to the uh band here let's go ahead and switch to the weather band okay here got your seven channels I was able to pick up quite a few on here. I think about five or six. Below zero north of Interstate 
1980 to the lower single digits to the south. And now the extended outlook for the period Wednesday through Monday. Wednesday, limited excessive cold risk. For tonight, weather hazard expected, limited excessive cold risk. Discussion in south winds up to 10 miles an hour. Thursday, not as cold. Partly sunny. Highs in the lower 30s. West winds up to 10 miles an hour. I get the idea. So the neat thing and here. The relative humidity was 81%. The wind was west. What I, what I noticed with this radio. Jeez. Well, clicker is loud. Okay, so you hit the alert mode. Turns the radio off. Flashes the alert mode there. Okay. And when you turn the alert off, it goes right to the weather band. And the interesting thing is it doesn't stop on the station you are on. So what it's doing right now is it's cycling through all seven channels searching for an alert tone. So instead of just sticking to the one you picked, it's searching all of them. Now that's really nice if you're traveling. Um, if you're moving, you're on the go. Um, so it's always uh, pretty much updating uh, where to look. Uh, that's a nice thing. Now, of course, it's very basic, but at least that works. I like that mode. I think that's fantastic. So if we push this back on, chances are we're going to be on a channel that we didn't start. So we push it back in here. So just so you can see this, back on alert mode. Now we turn alert mode back off. Now, I said 55 hours. That's amazing. So now we're on channel 7. So you can see it's cycling. Amazing. So as a weather alert mode radio, this is just a great thing to have around. Loving it. Clock goes around right here to sing what channel you're on on your weather band. Sing weather band 7 clock. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the see what the medium wave is. And a lot of guys like to see what that is. During the day, it was good. Oops. Sliding around here. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the band here. It's fairly weak, and that was the same as the, uh, if I'm saying that right, Horologe <laughs> H198. I'm going to put a link to that radio up here. Uh, that was pretty popular radio. Everybody loved that radio for the FM. AM was great for locals during the day. Let's see what it does in the evening. Okay, that's surprising. <laughs> CHLO, Brampton, Ontario. 441 miles, 250 watts. Now, that's not something I expected to pick up. <laughs> Pretty amazing here. Okay, so it must be an evening thing. This thing wakes up a little bit. I'm kind of losing it now. Okay. Very cool. Let's keep tuning. Dirty sounds. 540 WUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. 70 miles away, 400 watts. Barely making that out. But locals? She coming um, good. How, how does it work that Hollywood gets so detached from reality and you think, mm, no, it can't get any worse? And then we hear things like that, Chris. Some warbling happening there. Uh, 560 WIND, Chicago. This is interesting. This is a uh, WNAX, Yankton, South Dakota. 460 miles, 5,000 watts. I'm tempted to see if a loop helps. Let's bring a loop down. The big boy, select antenna. Thinking the ferret might be at the bottom. Wait, our batteries are at the bottom. So the ferret might be just above or here. I'm gonna kind of estimate where it's at. Excellent. That makes a difference. All right. So you can do a little DXing with your onduler. <laughs> Loving it. Not expecting much down here. Making monopolies, and I'm hoping that it'll do so and send Visa 
best card, if not to the dustbin of history, at least to no longer having the shared monopoly they have over payment systems. You're listening to the Clark. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 52 miles away, 10,000 watts at night. Very directional. Okay, that's cool. Country music on CFCO, Chatham, Ontario. Just got to wait for the AGC to build up on this radio. Similar to the other uh, radio, I believe. Uh, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Okay, so that's 650. That's uh, WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Nice. 650 AM, WSM. Just picking up New York City, barely. The players have stagnated at best, regressed at worst. I think you've seen that. With Levine, with Markkinen, and I don't really blame the players. I know a lot of people got upset, especially last night after the Bulls blow the 26-point lead. You saw Kobe White and Wendell Carter take a photo on the floor with Chris Paul, who was their AAU yeah, director when they were growing up in high school. I actually watched that team play when I was on... 670 uh, to score, local WSCR, but Chicago. Me, everyone who, of course, you're getting you the know, time every time I stop. <laughs> uh, I live near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Here, just bring this back. I the time is going to come back on there. Here it is, 10.28 p.m. Central Standard Time. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Kind of losing it there. Losing it. And we get some WGN crossover. Inability to pay bills on time. Joyce contacted Team Hockberg for a mortgage using only the court awarded child support and alimony because she works side job. WGN Chicago. Seven forty. Zoomer Radio coming in good. Okay, this is a great little radio. I'm like, hey, this is pleasant because uh, during the day it was it got the squirrel, which I was all excited about, 1180. But uh, yeah, so 740, Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Uh, coming in sweet. There we go, WSB, Atlanta, Georgia, 600, 630 miles, okay, this is performing pretty well. A little bit of buzzing from the changing volume. WJR Detroit, 270 miles. A little bit of WABC, barely. It's pretty close to some big stations, so I don't expect to resolve that too easily. Conducted what that protester called a fair trial. Said he believes the president broke the law, and he said it's the duty of WBBM, the House Chicago. and the Senate to hold him. A Go a little quicker here. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, slowly getting louder, 310 miles. Hey, WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, 800, uh, 840 here. 
about 300 miles away. Coast to coast, ground zero. Nice. There we go, We're picking up KOA Denver. Didn't sound fantastic, but um, 890 miles. CJBC Toronto. So you can see this radio is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, WWL barely coming in. WCBS, New York, New York, 750 miles. All the sound it makes. There you go. WLS. Got a little call letters there. Not bad. Okay, let's go up to press and hold and let go. It seeks. I was going to show you about making memories. So you find a station you like. The mode button. Tells you where to put it. Oops, did it wrong. <laughs> Tells you where to put it. Come on. Pick where you want to set it. This show has to be amazing. I can't wait to get to it. It's the kind of stuff you got. I know. Ten twenty, KDKA Pittsburgh. So this is four hundred and fifty miles away. Into WBZ. Just can't wait forever. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa. Two hundred eighty miles. So as you can tell, pretty capable radio. Pretty excited about it. Uh, let's go up to the bigger station. WTM, Cleveland, Ohio. 345 miles. KMLX, St. Louis, Missouri. 275 miles. WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles. And let's just go to the top of the band here. There you go, 1180. WHAM. This is Rochester, New York, 545 miles. Okay, gotta finish this up. <laughs> Keep putting this here. You can't just press and hold, which would be nice. So then keep seeking. Better just keep tapping it. Which is what we're going to do. It's WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee. Coming in kind of quiet towards the top of the band. 1530 WCKY, Cincinnati. See if we can pick up Toronto on 1610. There you go, CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles, got music going on. because I'm next to my phone. <laughs> K 
1700s KBGG Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. All right, let's turn this off. You got an idea what this thing can do. Oh, there's your sleep mode. Just press the power button. Oh, hit the power button again. There it is. And you just tap your sleep mode. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I'll just show you real quick. So the Von Dior AM FM weather band radio. Does it get my recommendation at 19 bucks? Yeah, definitely. 20 bucks. You get yourself a nice little digital radio um, with weather alert. Um, yeah, loving the weather band on here. The FM is really good. And the AM is passable. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that way, but, but it's definitely passable. Um, so definitely gets my recommendation. You get a clock. You get an alarm mode. Um, you get a lot for the money. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I wish, you know, maybe, yeah, I guess it doesn't need headphones, but uh, overall, not a bad radio. Uh, so it gets, yep, Todd Burst recommendation, yeah. If you enjoyed the video presentation of this radio, give me a big like. You guys are amazing. Two, if you like the brand, I'll look for more. I think I've reviewed a few of theirs or one of theirs anyway. Hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future inexpensive radios such as these. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the Von Dior 300WB weather band weather alert radio. Would this be something you'd buy and carry with you for an emergency? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you next episode.